Hi Gemini, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of June 10th through the 16th. This is for Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon, and Gemini Rising Signs. So Gemini, if you happen to have a birthday this week, happy birthday. For this reading, I am using the Morgan Greer Tarot deck. I'm also going to be pulling you a Blessed Be Oracle card. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, Gemini, I do have the Nine of Cups. So Nine of Cups, very nice. This can speak about uh, emotional abundance that's coming in for you, something that's going to make you very happy. Um, or it can even speak about a wish. It is a wish card. Let's see what's underneath it. Oh, wow. We have the Nine of Cups, the Six of Rods. We have the Hierophant. And so... Yeah, for those Geminis that you have like a legal matter or, you know, anything to do with like a large company, an institution, we see, we see, you know, some positive news, a wish that's coming in for you. Uh, Six of Rods speaks about victory, success, you feeling proud of yourself. So maybe some of you are moving up within the company that you already work for. You could be landing a new job. Or if you had something that was legal or, or something to do with maybe even the government, anything like that, we see things working out well for you, Gemini. Um, a few of you, this could even be on the relationship front here. So the Hierophant speaks about marriage. It speaks about more traditional relationships. So maybe some of you, Geminis, you could be making a commitment. Maybe you're taking it to the, the, the next level here. Maybe you're getting married, so if that's the case, congrats, Gemini. Uh, the overall energy for you guys for the week is the Eight of Rods, so very nice. I mean, this for me can just be the energy shifting. It, it can even be the energy shifting very suddenly, things happening all at once, or the energy just shifting um, all of a sudden. There's a lot going on, but it's, for me, a very positive shift in the energy. It's things looking up, things moving forward, and it also speaks about messages coming in. It can be you know, messages coming to you when you least expect it can be a little bit of a sudden energy here. So we have that nine of cups and we have the eight of, of wands. So some of you are hearing something. It's, it's incredibly positive. It might happen when you least expect it. Uh, also, it might allow for the energy to move forward for things to begin to happen. Now, you do have two aces here in this spread, Gemini. So some of you, you have these new beginnings that are coming in for you. And, and this could be the week where you're hearing something. Um, Six of Cups can be, uh, you know, some sort of closure that, that that's coming in or something from the past that's relevant here this week. We have the Six of Cups with the Ace of Rods. So Ace of Rods, an exciting new beginning, a new adventure. But for some of you, maybe it's something ongoing from the past. Uh, maybe you are waiting on news in regards to this or waiting on a decision, waiting on something here. Uh, for those of you that it's like a legal matter, uh, this could be closure with like a legal matter that's coming in from you, for you. Gemini, there could be... If you're waiting on news from like your attorney, something like that. Some of you could be hearing something here this week. Those of you that it is on the love front, um, Six of Cups can speak about your past. And so uh, for some of you, maybe you're hearing from someone. Uh, it could be an ex, but it, I mean, it doesn't have to be with the Six of Cups. It could be like an old friend. It could be someone you went to school with, someone you haven't seen for a very long time. Maybe they're going to message you. Maybe you're going to hear from them um, when you least expect it. So for some of you, there could be someone coming in or someone who's getting a hold of you here this week. And maybe you're seeing them for the first time. Maybe it's been a while, if that's the case. Uh, here, especially for you Gemini females, we have the Queen of Swords here. Uh, there could be a, that instant attraction with the Ace of Rods. 
uh, yeah, that physical chemistry, that, that instant attraction for some of you. Now, those of you that have love coming in, if it's not someone from your past, Six of Cups for me is one of my soulmate cards. And so those of you that are meeting someone, maybe you feel very comfortable around them. Maybe you feel as though you've known them forever. Uh, and that could be because they're a soulmate. The Six of Cups for me is one of my soulmate cards. Uh, and also a very strong uh, desire here. Uh, they might be very, very attractive. They possibly could be a Virgo because we have the Hermit here. So the sign of Virgo might be significant for some of you. For other Geminis, you know, we have this Ace of Rods that's coming in. It could be unexpectedly. So we have this new beginning that's coming to you. Uh, you need to maybe go within, Gemini, at some point, maybe needing to spend some time alone, needing to go within, listen to your intuition as far as moving forward with this. Um, so yeah, I mean, we have, we have new beginnings that are coming in for you. Um, those of you that it's on the legal front, something with, with a legal matter, we do have judgment. So this could be that legal judgment or resolution that's coming in. What's interesting is we have judgment um, mirroring the Six of Cups here. So those of you, it's something from the past. Um, there's closure with this matter that's coming in. Ace of Pentacles can represent a lump sum of money. So for some of you, this could be a settlement offer, something like that with the Ace of Pentacles. Uh, maybe you have uh, a decision that you have to make especially if it's if it's like with something legal gemini maybe you're being offered something here and you have to decide you know whether or not you want to accept or not um and so that might be why some of you need to spend some time alone but we do have the nine of wands here which is a, which is very interesting so this is someone who's not giving up uh, this person has a lot of inner strength. They've already been through quite a bit, but they're still standing. So this person is not giving up. So those of you that do have some sort of maybe financial offer, for those Geminis that have to make a decision, you know, whether or not you want to accept or not, Some of you will, but then, you know, there could be some Geminis that you're going to choose to kind of wait it out. Um, yeah, we have the Nine of Wands, we have the Knight of Pentacles here, so it could be reading for some Geminis that you're choosing to, you know, maybe you have a figure in mind, a goal, a figure, uh, a sum of money that maybe you want. Um, so some of you might choose to kind of push on here with this um, and maybe not settle for less. Some of you definitely might resonate in, in that in that way. Um, other Geminis here could be a new financial opportunity, a new job. Uh, it could be a company that you applied at prior, something you did in the past, something coming back around, Six of Cups Judgment, a second chance for some of you, something coming back around. Uh, and maybe you have to make a decision here this week, Gemini, as far as what you want to do. But for many of you that I'm reading for today, Gemini, with this as the overall energy, the Eight of Wands, you are going to choose to, you know, move forward with this. So yeah, let's pull you, let's pull you an additional uh, guidance card. But overall, no matter how you resonate with this, you know, it's an exciting week for some of you. You're going to receive a message or messages when you least expect them. You have these blessings that are coming in. Those of you that have already gone through quite a bit, um, this could be you kind of rising up from the ashes here, starting something new. It's an exciting time. So, yeah, let's pull you an additional guidance card. Gemini. And I do want to say happy Father's Day to all of you fathers that are watching. All right, what else does Gemini need to know for this week? Additional guidance for Gemini. Additional guidance. 
cards for Gemini for this week. There we go. Okay. Um, I believe we have two cards here. Yep. Interesting. A blessing to find your way. So that's interesting. So for some of you, definitely maybe needing to go within here, listen to your intuition. Uh, there could be some Geminis that the Eight of Wands and the Hermit here. This is like some sort of clarity um, that's coming in for you. It's going to help you kind of move forward down this new path. You could be seeing someone or seeing something clearly here this week and finding that way forward. And then we also have a blessing for a mother. So some of you that I'm reading for, um, we have this queen of swords here. Some of you that I'm reading for, you might be a mother. You might be moving towards becoming a mother. Uh, other Geminis, maybe there's a, a woman in your life. She could be a mother. She could be a grandmother. There could be a woman in your life that's significant here this week. Maybe you're going to be hearing from her. Um, so yeah, some of you have a woman who's significant. Others, I think that there's something you're hearing. There's something coming through for you here this week that's going to allow you to move forward. You're finding your way here at this time. All right, Gemini, so very nice, very nice reading. Happy birthday again for all of you Geminis that have a birthday this week. I hope that you found this reading helpful. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. If you are interested in having a private reading, please check out northeasttarot.com. Have a great week.